Hey guys, welcome to Artistic License, my stream that I do on Thursdays starting at 6.30, which is uh, whatever I want. We do whatever I want on Artistic License. I'm just taking the microphone. That looks good. All right, so um, things visually probably look a little different. They look a little different right now. Uh, there's a reason for that, but you, I, and I did some color correction to try to make things look a little bit better. You know, <laughs> I tried, okay, I tried messing with settings to do the best I could, but you might be asking Karen. Karen, why are you on the old shitty camera? Why aren't you using your beautiful, nice camera? Well, uh, there's a reason for that. There's a reason, so I'll give you a little, a little hint. What's this, real quick, boom. Oh, did you see it? Did you see it? Okay, yes, we are doing another um, kind of craft stream where the main camera is going to be used down here at the bottom. All right, guys, we are going to make slime today. That is the, that is the plan. That's the plan. I have a recipe, I've tested it out. It seems to work pretty well, it's pretty easy. And uh, you guys can follow along. I posted the recipe in my Discord, so that was there this morning. That's still there. I'm going to share the recipe with you guys just a little bit. Uh, it's pretty simple. Like, the only complicated ingredient that I think people might not have in their house is contact solution. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that in just a little bit. All right. So, announcements, announcements. I want to show you guys something real quick. Something. Okay. Something that I did recently. First announcement. I made a TikTok, y'all. <laughs> I made a TikTok, y'all, and you should go follow my TikTok. It's it's Karen Terry. It is going to be a lot of like clips and advertising of my videos, but I've got some original TikToks too. Like this is an original one, right? Um, this is an original one right here. This is too. This one right here. So on the weekends, I plan to post original ones, and then during the week, I plan to post clips. So y'all should go follow it. Um, you should like all my TikToks, not because they're any good, because they're not, <laughs> but just like them because you love me. So, uh, so yeah, if y'all would go show my TikTok some support, I would very much appreciate it. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to put up my hair real quick. I'm going to put up my hair so I don't forget, I don't want to get hair in the slime later. <clears throat> that would suck. Definitely don't want to be working slime out of my hair. If y'all have long hair like I do, then of course, please put yours up if you are following along making the slime with me. Okay, so that's that. And I want to talk like we, you know, like we like to do, like we like to do about yesterday's spare room episode. So yesterday we had an episode about setting up a supernatural role play group. And I made a bunch of these kind of videos before, like I made a video that was setting up a school role play. I had one about town. I had one about like, um... Uh, I had one about like uh, warring factions, you know, I've had a few, I've had a few of these, right? But this is kind of the last one that was on my list of like types of role plays that I set up that um, that I, I have like a good list of tips on. So if there are other types of role plays that you guys like to do that you need some tips on, let me know um, because I'd be happy to make them, but I need to do a little research, right? Like I need to look into it and think about it a little bit. But, uh, but I would be happy to make more of those videos. But that's kind of like the last one on that particular list that I have right now. I don't know. Maybe I'll get ambitious and make uh, a role play that's nothing like I've ever made before, right? And then y'all will have a new tips video from what I role play. Uh, <laughs> Freya's Voyage is a little bit uh, a little bit unique in that, in that way from what y'all know right now, which that is still on track, by the way. But if there's other, like, you know, setting up certain type of role play videos... Uh, that you're interested in, I, I would love to make them. So just let me know. If you're in the chat right now, speak up. I see that we have some viewers, but I don't see anybody chatting. So you guys let me know who all is here. Okay. So that was just quick updates this time. Just quick updates this time. Another thing that I wanted to say is that this is going to be the last episode of Artistic License in 2020. We'll come back in 2021. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a break for Christmas and stuff like that. We'll talk about that a little bit more when we actually get into making some of the slimes. I've got a few things that I want to talk with you guys about while we make them. Okay, so let's actually make some slime, y'all. Okay, let's make some slime. So what we've got here 
is all of our ingredients, okay? And I've got, actually, let me show you this first. I've got the recipe up right here. So essentially what you need to make this slime is Elmer's glue, some contact saline solution, which I have right here. Um, only certain ones work apparently, so you have to make sure that you buy certain ones. I, I bought this one and, uh, and tested it and, it and it works, right? This three, three new multi-purpose right here. And then you need baking soda, which I have, a box of baking soda. Um, and the food coloring is optional, of course. Okay, now that y'all know kind of what goes into it, let's go back. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients laid out here. I've got all of our food colorings, I've got all of our glitters, and here is how we're gonna do this. So you guys tell me what color you want for the slime and what glitter you want. Now I know that y'all can't really see the glitters too well, so, I've got, and I've got a ton of them, okay? But here's what we can do. And actually, show this, and then I'm gonna flip my microphone around so that y'all can hear me better when I lean forward. Okay, so back on the desktop, we have butterfly glitter, fruit glitter, letters and numbers, flakies, we have circles, four point stars, iridescent flakies, uh, and then here's some various iridescent ones. Hey, Mochi! Um, some white iridescent and some more clear iridescent. And then we've got some silver, like holographic looking ones as well. So I'm going to paste these into the chat. And when y'all pick out what glitters you want, I know I'm so excited about the fruit glitter. It's so cute. When y'all pick out the ones you want, let me know what pack it's from and also what the number is. So like, I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you zoom in on these, you can see they're all numbered. Like the strawberries are seven, right? And the avocados are eight. So you tell me what pack you think we should do and what number, and then also what color should go with it down here. And that's the kind of, that's the kind of one that we're going to make. So I'll let y'all take a second to take a look at those and, uh, and y'all tell me what glitter you think would be good for our first one and what color you think would be good for our first one. And I've got enough stuff here to make, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different slimes okay uh and then and one of them's going to be a um a fluffy slime as well because i've got some shaving cream and this is what you need apparently to make fluffy slime. so one of them's going to be fluffy and i've also got some of these are clear right like i've got clear glue so those will be kind of like more translucent slime and i've got the white glue so this will be like more opaque regular slime okay so while you're looking at that i'm gonna just flip this around so Mochi, what color and glitter should I do? Or anyone really, anybody tell me, but Mochi said hi first, so I'm gonna ask Mochi specifically. I've got purple, pointed it at the other camera instead. I've got purple here, let's see, Oop, hit the desk. Okay, we've got yellow. The autofocus doesn't work well on this for some reason. But y'all can still see it even if it's blurred, right? This is pink, right? This is pink. I've also got green and some blue, some blue right there. And we've got red. I use this to make some stuff, uh, some some stuff for um, Christmas last year. And then I've got like the the regular like drip type of food colorings that you would just have in your house, right? Like these. Instead of gel, they're just the liquid. You can use either, both work. Ooh, green with the nine fruit, okay. If I were to guess, I would say you probably said avocado. Let's see what the nine is. Oh no, what are these? Oh, they're cherries. Oh, green little cherries, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that y'all can see, these little cherries right here is what Mochi picked out. <gasps> Lunar, Lunar, thank you so much. Hey, Lunar, I don't know if you can hear me since you're at work, but um, but you got to tell me what color and uh, and glitters you got you want for for the slime. We'll definitely make one for you. Uh, so here's the different glitters so that you can see them, because I don't think it shows you the chat history, right? So there's the those are the glitters. Okay, so let's get started. So for the cherries, I really want those to show through. Um, 
because of the type of glitters they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this clear. We're going to use clear glue for our green cherry slime. Let's pour this in here. <laughs> Sorry for those sounds. <laughs> Uh, I just want to get want to try to get as much of the glue out as I can. I'm gonna let that drip for just a second so We can get all the glue out because this recipe really calls for using eight ounce bottles of glue But what I have is four ounce bottles. So That's what we're working with Oh, it's not staying in focus. Hang on. Let me see if I can fix that. I think I can fix that I just set the focus manual Let's see yeah, it's on auto. Okay. Turn that off and let's do some manual focus. There we go. It looks like it's in focus now. Okay. Done. Awesome. All right. Come out of here, glue. Pink with gold stars. Okay. For Lunar, we will make a pink slime with some gold stars. Okay. So there is four ounces of our clear glue and then what we have to do is mix in our coloring and our glitter you have to do that first because once it becomes like slime like instead of glue like it's really hard to mix in the stuff so step one basically is when we put in all of our fun things i'm just going to try to take like a little bit of this this gel food coloring that i have is pretty powerful <laughs> so it's easy to overdo it but you can see, like, it's turning green. Like, how pretty is that? I'm just going to mix this in. Okay. And I'm not really an uh, expert at making slime. I really only tried this once. And I've this is something that I've, like, always wanted to do. You know, I was always fascinated by people that made slime. And I was like, ooh, I want to do that. So, of course, you know, saying I'm going to stream it, well, that justified buying a gajillion bottles of of glue and when my husband is like why are you buying so much glue i'm like it's for a slime stream and he's like oh okay <laughs> so he only questioned it a little bit okay is that pretty well mixed in that's pretty well mixed in okay let's go get our cherries where'd i set that thing down here it is What's so funny about these is they were not super secure. <laughs> so when I started opening up the packages of the glitters, they some of them kind of like went everywhere. So I got a Roomba in here tomorrow because now there is like glitter all over the freaking floor. Um, so <laughs> I don't mind. Luckily, no one else really uses this room except for me. So no big. It's not going to bother anybody else. <laughs> but there's literally there's glitter all over the floor now. All in the carpet so that's wonderful okay so y'all see this this looks really cool right so we've got the green and the cherries but it's just glue consistency right now okay so the next thing we need to do is to make it slime consistency we have to mix in our baking soda which we need so the recipe remember is eight ounces of glue and we only have four ounces so it says a tablespoon of baking soda so I actually want then a half tablespoon of baking soda so here we go, half tablespoon. There we go, we gotta mix that in. Tell Landon Taylor Swift has another CD dropping at midnight. Holy crap, she needs to know. Hopefully she'll be in here. She's probably in class right now. So this is like, you know, this is school time for her. And I think it's also finals time. So hopefully she'll drop in. Um, as soon as we see her, though, we have to tell her. She'll be so excited. Um, that'll be some good news for her. Because uh, finals are crazy and super stressful. So, oh my gosh, I'm shaking the hell out of this table with this mixing. Should have, like, sifted this baking soda a little bit so it wasn't so powdery and clumpy. Oh, well. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Baking soda, mix it just a little bit more so it gets nice and mixed before we do the saline action. All right, so one thing that I want to mention to you guys, um, Mochi, you have to let Kai know, just as a little reminder, I know you already know, but we are playing Among Us on Saturday. So as part of our interstage window um, stream, Christmas stream, 
we're going to be playing Among Us. And just like we did with the Halloween one where we shared like role play horror stories, we're going to do um, favorite holiday traditions. So my thought was like, oh, that will like help us feel really uh, inspired and interested in doing like maybe some Christmas or wintry role plays or things like that. Uh, is to think about some of our favorite holiday traditions. So, but even if you don't, like, I feel like even if you don't celebrate any of the winter holidays, right, like Christmas or whatever, you can still appreciate some holiday traditions because everybody gets a nice good chunk off, chunk of time off over Christmas. Um, so you got to have some traditions, right? Like, I feel like you must have some. That's my thought. So um, hopefully we can do, so we can do that. And hopefully we'll have some nice holiday traditions that people share. Uh, Kai is definitely invited, so uh, make sure to remind him, right? I think that's Kai's a him, I think. <laughs> I don't remember, but I think so. So he can play Among Us with us. All right, so then the next one is definitely well, I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, I know, right? I, I can't wait for my break from work. So my work closes all the way from Christmas Eve all the way until New Year, so we get a whole week off always. Plus, I took some more time off, so I'm going to have a whole two weeks. I'm so freaking excited. I'm so freaking excited. Okay, so this recipe calls for one tablespoon baking soda. Oh, no, it's one and a half to two tablespoons contact solution. Okay, so we definitely don't want to add two because we only have half the amount. So, okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to add in. We're not going to fill I'm not going to fill this up all the way, right? Just going to fill this one tablespoon up partially. A little bit more. Oops. Escaped solution. Kai doesn't care about programs, pronouns. They go by they, them. Okay. Thank you. I will do my best to remember that. I don't know. For some reason, they gave off he, him vibes to me. But, you, you know, I and I get in trouble for this a lot, especially in role play spaces, because... Like, um, I was role playing on Tumblr for so long and most role players are, are girls on there. So I'll assume someone is she, her until they tell me otherwise. And then it's like, oh shit, you know, if they're not, I screwed it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah. And you can see, okay, you can see I did the contact solution and now it's more slime like, right? So, ah, it looks like slime. Okay. So we mix it a little bit this way. And then what you have to do is when it becomes like more difficult to mix, like I'm sure you guys can tell, and you start hearing some of the crackling sounds, right? You're supposed to take it out of here and then knead it with your hands. I'm actually going to take my rings off. Sorry, hubby. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to take this out and start kneading it with our hands. It gets really sticky for a minute, and then it gets much better. <laughs> or at least that's what happened when I made the test batch before. Here. Get out of this bowl. Don't want to lose any of our cherry, our cherry glitters. I'm gonna get all those guys out of the bowl. There we go. Come here, cherries. <laughs> so we've got our green cherry slime. Oops. Glitter catastrophe. And you probably should have a place map that you're doing this on. Um, I just don't care. Okay. So I'm just, I've got it right here, just on the table, but whatever, I'll clean it up after. It really is. Like, what a good choice. Look at this. Oh, I feel like I probably need more contact solution. I shouldn't have done my hands yet. It will be wet and gooey at first. Like, this feels really gross to me. <laughs> uh, and it probably looks really gross. But if you keep doing it, it does kind of solidify and slimify. And, uh, and I've got some nice storage. I've only got five of them though. I've got five nice storage containers that we can use. Um, so the rest of them will just have to stay in their bowls or get stored into, in uh, Ziploc bags. But the other reason I thought this was so fun is I was like, wouldn't this be like a really fun like Christmas stocking stuffer thing that you could do? Where you put these in, in the stocking stuffers and it was so cheap, right? Like getting all of the supplies was not expensive. And, um, and I have enough supplies to make so many. Ah, there we go. Like, I think I've got enough for seven of them. Yeah, I've got seven bottles of glue here. I started out with eight, obviously, and then I used one to test. Um, <laughs> so you can see it's starting to become, like, more sticky, right? Or less sticky, but so it's, like, sticking to itself more than it's sticking to me. Oh. And um, my understanding is that you can revive these if they get... 
messed up by adding in, you know, either more baking solution or more contact solution, depending on what it is that happens to them, right? Like if they start melting versus if they start uh, getting too, uh, too dry, you know, the other way around. And there's all kinds of tutorials online for stuff like that. I have not uh, concerned myself with such things because I've not made a bunch. All right, I just made the one example. Yeah, this is a little bit sticky for my taste. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Get a little bit more contact solution in there. Just some drip, 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 drip. Pull, mix that in. Yeah, the green is super pretty. What a good choice, Mochi. Look at this. Beautiful. You can hear the slime cracklings. I'll put it by the microphone for a second. Some people like the sound, apparently. I just really love playing with it. So when I was a kid, and here's how we're going to clean up the mess, right? There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> mess gone. When I was a kid, um, Gak was all the rage, right? Uh, anybody that was born in the 80s probably remembers Gak. I don't know if they still make it. I don't know how long they made it for. So younger people might remember Gak, too. I definitely remember Gak. We had that... We had gack, there was like phloem, there was smud, you know, all of that stuff that Nickelodeon made. And so this is basically like the same consistency as gack. So I love it because it reminds me so much of those of playing with gack as a child. So I'll tell you all a funny story about that. We and when I was growing up. Me and my sister had what was called a playroom, right? It was basically like, you know, a lot of houses have like a living room and a den. Right. So it was the second the secondary living room, just like a den would be. But it was ours. Like it was our, our playroom. We were allowed to mess it up. Right. Like those are the rules. If we were going to make a mess, we had to make it in there. Um, you know, stuff like that. That's where we had sleepovers. That's where we watched, you know, movies that mom and dad didn't want to watch with us. You get it. Stuff like that. So in the playroom, <laughs> one of the things we love to do with our gack and our smud and other things was to throw it up at the ceiling. <laughs> Because it would stick, and then it would slowly eventually fall down. So before my parents redid that room, because eventually, like, when we both moved out, my parents eventually redid that room, right? Before my parents redid that room, there were still pink and blue splotches all over the ceiling. <laughs> it was, oh my god, it was a time. It was a time. <laughs> and uh and i couldn't believe how long those things stayed up there ridiculous okay let's clean off our little spatula here that off of there i remember getting a sticky hand stuck to the ceiling yeah exactly like that mochi oh my god exactly like that only it was we did it with gack and smud but it was the same idea and it stuck to the ceiling and it was it was just awful Pink and blue splotches all over that popcorn ceiling. <laughs> I don't know how um, my parents didn't want to kill us after that. They probably did and just held, held back. Okay, let me show y'all. See, we've got the little cherry surprises in there. I love this. What a good choice, Mochi. Okay, so I've got these little... Oop, come here. Separate. There we go. And I bought these mixing bowls and these things like as a kit on Amazon, right? So I got these little guys. We can just put our little slime in here and then it stays, it stays nice, nice and contained. Like it fits exactly the four ounces, just like the size of the glue bottle. And there we go. So this is mochi cherry slime. Close. Okay, it doesn't quite fit. Oops. It probably would fit better if I squeezed all the air out. <laughs> ah, okay. Almost. Let's do this. Let's take one of our bowls. We've got, it comes with like five bowls and five of these. We're going to pinch off a little bit of this. This will be, we'll, we'll save this for the end and we'll do a, a slime that's all mixed together. That'll be fun. Get in there. I chipped, a, I have to redo my nails. I chipped a little bit off of this one the other day. So sad. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so the next one was Lunars. I see there are a couple other people in the chat. So y'all tell me what other colors and uh, and glitter combinations you want while we're making Lunars. Um, somebody else make a choice, I'll, so I'll take the, the glitters so that y'all can see them. And I put these on Imager so that you can like zoom in and they're super big, right? Those are the glitters, so someone else can make a choice, whoever else wants to. Okay, we're gonna put we're gonna put our little our little bit of slime to the side for right. Get a different bowl. We'll keep that bowl for our little bits. Okay. So next for lunar, we're gonna do pink with gold stars. So let's do one with the regular glue this time instead of with the clear glue. And this is so easy. That's what's great about this recipe. A lot of these slime recipes tell you you have to go get borax. That's not the case. This works just fine. You don't have to have the borax. Okay. Um, so back to back to me being super excited about Christmas. So we have we have that whole week off, right? Like that's how my work typically does it. And I took off a bunch of days before Christmas Eve as well, so that I can basically get two weeks off. Ooh, I need that like what y'all would not believe. But it's going to be great because those two weeks, I think, is going to encompass the initial application period for Freya's Voyage. So that's what I'm going to be concentrating on. I'm going to be taking those two weeks to concentrate on making the role play and on uh, doing the uh, doing you know the videos doing um, spare room episodes for January because of course that's not stopping. We are going to have like a Christmas episode of spare room that's closer to Christmas, so we'll have that for y'all to watch. That's a little bit closer. Come on, there we go. Get out of there, glue. Okay. Still dripping. I can't see as well in this one if I've dripped it all out yet. <laughs> okay, it's still going. Um, so I'm really excited to have that time off for Christmas, and I'm kind of curious. Like, are you do you, are you guys excited about your your um vacations? And if so, what is it that you're looking most forward to? I have to say, um, what I am looking most forward to. Let's set that empty. Okay. What I am looking most forward to is um, spending some time with the family, you know. We're going to do some fun Christmas activities, I think. I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but okay. So we've, let's do these stars. I think this is the closest to the yellow stars. Is that what she said? Pink with gold stars. Oh, no. Okay, so we'll do these gold ones. We're doing these ones, Lunar number four right here. There's like this festival of lights, which is basically like, it's really just like you drive around <laughs> in your car and you look at like light setups that they've, that they've set up at the park, um, at the county park. And, um, and it's really fun and it's cheesy, but since it's in your car, I feel like so long as we don't get out of the car and do like that part of it, that's probably still safe. So I'm looking forward to potentially doing that, um. Because I think that'll still be fun, even with everything going on. Looking, Mochi's looking forward to getting a break and spending time with family. Aww. Yeah, um, I hope everybody does get to spend a little bit of time with their family, you know. I mean, with everything going on right now, um, I know we're all limiting the amount that we're doing with our families. And we should, right? Like, I still believe that for Christmas, the same thing that I said for, for Thanksgiving is true. Like, you know... I'm not saying don't see your family, but, like, maybe you don't need to see, like, every single cousin under the sun, right? <laughs> so I would hope for Christmas that's what that's what we're all doing as well. You know, keep your gatherings small, wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands, stuff like that. Also looking at lights in my car, too, this Sunday, I think. Oh, good. You know, I didn't even realize that that was a thing that a lot of cities did. Because when I was growing up, like, our version of getting in the car and looking at lights was um, going around to, like, neighbors' houses and doing that, right? But um, but where I live now, actually, that's, like, a thing that the city does and coordinates. So I put just a little bit of pink in here because I wanted it to be, like, like, the beautiful pale pink lunar that you tend to have on your... 
on your uh, aesthetics and graphics and things. I think I got it. I don't think, I feel like the camera is not picking it up too well. Like, yeah, there we go. If I put it in that shadow there, you can see kind of the pink that we're going for. Same. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Mochi, exactly. <clears throat> Lunar, I don't know if you're if you can hear if if you're just lurking or if you can hear, but if you can hear me, let me know what you're looking most forward to for the holidays. I'm curious. And I hope everybody has a nice holiday. I think we all deserve a break. I think we all deserve a break when it comes to everything that's happened in 2020. <laughs> so I definitely think we should take that uh and and make the most of it. It's hard uh, being panicked 24-7, isn't it? Okay, I think that coloring and glitter... See, there's still this... What is this? What's this? There's still like a spot in here that's like not mixed quite right. So we're going to mix that a little bit more. I don't want no streaky slimes. It's like maybe part of the food coloring hardened or something. Come on. Okay. True. Hope 2021 is better. I hope 2021 is better too. My God, we deserve some better. We deserve some better. I think it will be though. Um, I mean, hell, every so many years up until 2020, we said like, it can't get worse. And then it kept getting worse. You know what I mean? But like, I don't know. I feel like for real this time, like it can't get worse, right? It can't get worse. I would be really surprised if it actually did. It shouldn't. I mean, certain things, certain things will, of course. I mean, climate change is still marching in the direction it's marching, but I think some things will improve. Um, I think some things will improve. I hope anyway. I have hopes. Okay, let's mix in our baking soda. So I'm noticing when I make this one with the white glue, it's much harder for me to see it's much harder for me to see if I'm really mixing the baking soda properly. We're probably just going to mix this a little extra hard just to try to make sure that I'm actually getting everything. <clears throat> and the other thing I've been doing is I've been thinking a lot about uh, 2021 and like what it is I want to do with this particular stream. Like this is definitely, this is my spot to kind of be experimental, right? And try new things and do, you know, stuff that doesn't necessarily fit into like role play advice or stuff that's not really like a conversation, you know, like what we have on interstage window. Um, so I feel like this is like any, it can be anything and everything, right? So with that in mind, like I would love to be, in, I would love to hear like from you guys what it is you're interested in seeing me doing, like what things you think would be that you would want to participate in, things that you that you think would be entertaining, just stuff that you want to see from me. Stuff that you think like we should try out, basically. Because when it comes to the stream, I feel like I'll probably try most things once. You know what I mean? I mean, I played a horror game, which that was a horrible idea, but you know, we did it. <laughs> we did it. I'm curious from you guys, if there's anything that you would like to see in the artistic license stream for 2021? Let me know, because I'm in the process now of kind of like looking in that, thinking about it, planning it, you know, trying to have some ideas. Because as y'all learned in the stream that I did about my process i'm like big on planning things i do not like to do things last minute i mean i will if i have to but that's just not my general way in general i want to kind of be prepared right i just feel like i do better when it's not a hundred percent spur of the moment you know when things are planned just a little bit and i think i think that's probably true for a lot of streamers you know, or other content creators, it all looks very like unplanned. Well, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. I think most streamers like think about their content. They think about what they want to do. They think about, you know, they even like plan jokes. You know, what do you do if the, what are you going to say if nobody's really talking to you in the chat at that moment, right? What are you going to do to kind of spice things up? 
it's very wet again. <laughs> but it was starting to get hard to mix, so it's time for the hands step. And we are dripping contact solution everywhere. Yay. So it's definitely when you make this one with the white glue as opposed to the clear glue, the consistency feels very different at this stage. By the time we get to the end, I think the consistency, if I remember right from my testing, feels a lot more similar. But at this stage, it definitely does not. At this stage, it definitely doesn't. It's still very gross. <laughs> You can hear all the gross, nasty slime sounds. Hey Mochi, if you can hear this, you should go in the Discord and at Jane to get her booty in here. Tell her Karen said. Because I know she wants to do some slime. But she probably doesn't have her, uh, you know, pings turned on for the global ones. But I'm sure she has it turned on for individual. Oh, it's coming together. It's starting to get more slime-like, y'all. Here we go. So this one, I feel like it kind of does look like Lunar. It does kind of look like your um your emblem and your graphics and things like that. I'll get it close to the camera once it's a little bit, you know, l less unruly. <laughs> and I think right now, because I'm just moving so much, you don't, the glitters don't show up, but they, they do actually in real life. So I'll get closer in a second and show you, show you what I mean by that. <laughs> this is so gross, but so much fun. When I was a kid, I don't feel like that making slime was like a craft that we did. Like we would make our own Play-Doh. That was like a, a craft that kids did. But making your own slime, that was not one. But all the kids nowadays, of course, that's a big, you know, that's a big craft to do. When I was looking at buying the ingredients, there was even like Elmer's Glue branded like quote unquote slime activator, which is basically like the contact solution and baking soda that you put in there. But it was like their own proprietary like solution version to turn the glue into slime. But it was all all that all those same chemicals that I'm doing when I put in the baking soda and the um and the powder. In the sorry, in the contact solution. Okay. Same as before. I think we need a little more contact solution. Let's firm it up just a little bit. A little bit too too wet and slimy. There we go. Now that's feeling good. So, okay, put it up against this camera. You can see all those beautiful gold stars in there. You can see them sparkling. That one's sparkling real good. Good choice, Lunar. Oh. No, get back in this slime, you glitter. Okay, clean out our bowl. Spatula. At least I didn't get, oh, didn't mean to hit the microphone there. At least I didn't get too much all over the, uh, the table this time, just a little bit. <laughs> a little less messy than the first one. And I'm pretty sure with this craft, like from everything I read about it, like it's pretty safe for kids to do, but the, uh, the measurements are pretty finicky. So if you guys are doing this with like kids at home, I would say add the, the baking soda yeah, and the uh, contact lens solution yourself. And then, um, let them do the mixing and kneading and stuff like that. Okay, get all these little pink bits out of here so we can use this again for our next color. What do you guys want for the next color and, uh, and glitter combo? So 
we did a pink one with some cherries in it. Or sorry, a pink one with some gold stars in it. We did a green one with some cherries in it. We've also got some of those silver like holographic and we've got a lot of like iridescent, white iridescent and clear iridescent. We've got butterflies. Okay, let's take a chunk of this guy. We know he doesn't all fit in the little containers, although they're supposed to hold the four ounces, but I guess it, it holds a little less whenever you mix the air and all the other ingredients into the slime. So take a chunk of him and put him in there. And on now. There we go. I didn't realize these were so like stuck on each other. Or I would have separated them before the stream started. There we go. Okay. Oh, this one actually didn't make too much. I guess it's the clear, the clear ones must be like more, there must be more than four ounces in those. Okay, well, there we go. So here is Lunar's pink and gold slime. We're gonna see them all in a row at the end. Let me do this. Let me get Jane in here. Okay, Riri? You want out? Hang on, the dog wants out. Here we go. Okay. Well, oh, there's still a lot of remnants in the bowl. I can do a better job cleaning it up. Mm. There we go. That's better. Cleaner bowl. And make our next. Okay. You'll let me know what color and what glitter you want for the next slime. I'll put the glitter in the chat again for those that were not here last time I linked them. Here we go. Okay. So y'all tell me what you want for the next one. Just gonna take a look at some of my glitters here. Let's see what we can do. Well, there's some really nice like purple ones right here. I think I might do, let's do that next. I'm gonna make it like Twilight Sparkle colors maybe. Oh, yellow with avocados. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's do that. Tell Kai to, um, tell Kai to get in the, to open up the actual Twitch stream and get in the chat. Or is he here and he just doesn't have a Twitch account and that's what's going on? I feel like I asked this before, but I can't remember how it worked out. Like, can Kai hear me or is he just like watching over your shoulder? Or they, are they just watching over your shoulder? Sorry. The glue pour. They're doing homework. Ugh. Ew. Homework. Who does that? God. I'm just kidding. Do your homework, Kai. <clears throat> um. So one other thing in regards to 2021 that I had is I'm really curious about like a few specific things. So I made this survey. And if y'all could answer some of those questions on the survey, I would love to get your feedback. 
So basically what it asks is, where do you primarily watch? So do you primarily watch live on Twitch? Do you primarily watch the VODs on YouTube? Or is it more like you try to catch live when you can, but if you miss it, you watch the VODs? And then I have um, a list of the streams that I've done and ask which is you guys' favorite. Now I didn't list, I didn't list the um, streams that I did that were like, you know, how I make my YouTube videos, how I edit my YouTube videos, stuff like that because that was kind of a specific series that I knew I wanted to make based on questions I've been getting, right? Oh, let's do this, actually. Let's add the avocados first and then we'll add the yellow coloring. Um, so that's not necessarily content that I made thinking like, oh, this is good, people will really like this. It's people were asking for it, so I wanted it to exist. And I don't know that I'll, ever, that I'll do anything more like that, mostly because like, I covered it all like I don't think there's anything else to cover I've not been streaming long enough to explain to you guys how how to stream you know? so I can't really do that maybe sometime later in the future but right now that's not even that's not possible so those aren't on there but the other streams that I've done are on that list right I'm talking about okay, I want to be very careful with this yellow so it doesn't turn on. hopefully this turns yellow so but the other ones are on there right like when I played Final Fantasy, when I played um, Outlast, Tarot Reading, um, the Tumblr Heritage blog one that we did, uh, the Manicure stream that we did. Okay, yeah, it's yellow. Good, good, good. And then this one, Making Slime. If this one's your favorite, you can vote for that one too. Um, and then the Making the Discord server one's not on there for, for similar reasons. You know, I didn't necessarily do that, that one out of, um, you know, oh, this is the kind of content I want to make. It was like, that was like an event, you know. For the the new role play and to update those videos that I did, y'all can see like the yellow, like a nice banana. But all of those other ones I put on there, because I'm curious, right? You know, do you guys prefer the things that are like making video that are like um making stuff? You know, like the nail art stream was and like this one is. Or do you prefer things that are like playing video games, right? Like Outlast and the. Um, cat girl time <laughs> playing Final Fantasy was. And it's funny when I look at all of my artistic license streams and like the views that they've gotten on YouTube and watch time that they've gotten on YouTube. The most popular one was the Discord server one. And I think that's because a lot of my, basically all my, all my people that play in my role plays watch that one. So they boosted that one up quite a bit. And the next most popular one based on views. Oh, that stained the hell out of my hands. Can y'all see that? No, you probably can't. Well, like, oh yeah, there we go. All that yellow. <laughs> um, the Tumblr Heritage blog was the other really like popular one when I looked at it based on views, which is so funny to me. <clears throat> but I guess that's also because a lot of other people probably made videos about the Tumblr Heritage blog. And so, you know, when you have a topic like that, people are like curious to see your take. They probably had already watched some videos about it and we're like oh well you know let's see her take on the Tumblr heritage blog plus it was silly like that one was so silly and, and fun in that regard so I'm sure that's why a lot of people watched it but I'm really curious to see like what people liked versus what they clicked on and watched so that's why that question is on that on the survey because I want to see what y'all actually enjoyed when you watched it versus what made you click you know, what made you watch. Because I think those are diff different metrics and I'm interested to know. And then I say why that once so you can answer that if you want to. And then I ask if you could change one thing about artistic license, what would it be and why? I'm just curious. I'm just curious, like, if there's something that you're interested in that we're not doing and stuff like that, like, what would you change? And another question that I ask on there is if we did another nail painting stream, what would you guys want that to be about? I've got a few different ideas, but I really don't know. Like I'm not, I'm not like, you know, a nail art person. Like I do nail art sometimes, but I mostly just paint my nails crazy colors and keep them really manicured. But I do know a decent amount of nail art tips. So it's something that we could do if y'all are interested, like if that's what you're coming to me for, right? If that's one of the things that you would want to come to me for. So I put on there like using nail vinyls, which are like the stickers that you put on your nails to do like 
designs easier, basically. Uh, stamping. So stamping is another thing that you can do. There's like stamping plates that you can get and they make really intricate designs. Um, and they just do them as a stamp, right? Uh, there's also sponging I could show you guys, which helps with doing gradients. That helps with applying glitter. Um, and then another option is free hand painting. So I'm not really much of a painter, right? But I know some techniques to cheat at free hand painting. So I could show you guys that. And then an option on there is, of course, I'm not interested in another nail stream. Because uh, I just don't know. I just don't know if you guys are actually interested in that or not. And then the other question that I ask on there that I really want to know is, are you guys interested in streams that take multiple episodes to finish? So my example that I give is long-form role-play games or other video games. So what I'm thinking is something like, okay, so my favorite Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy X. I've actually been replaying through it recently because I freaking love that game. And it got me thinking, like, would y'all be interested in, in streaming something like that? Because it would take, like, oh my god, it would take, like, probably 10 episodes or more to get through everything I'd want to do in that game. Um, It's a really good game, but it's a JRPG. It was a very long game. <laughs> So would you guys be interested in that or or do you or do you more like that it's very different every week when you come on here that you get a very different experience? Um would you want something where we kind of did the same thing for a while, you know? And if we did that, I I guess I don't know how I would do it. Like if like let's say we've tried if we were going to play Final Fantasy 10. Would I just do that for a long time without stopping? Or would there be breaks in between of other streams? Like, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. But the first thing I want to know is if y'all are even interested in that sort of thing. Like, would y'all want to see the same thing basically ongoing for several streams in a row? And then I have a why or why not for that, which you can answer if you want to. This one is... This one is a very wet slime. <laughs> so that's the survey. I would love to have y'all's opinions on that um, so that I can kind of plan a good 2021 for artistic license since that has been, you know, my newest venture. And it's the least kind of thought out, you know, developed part of my content just because I've not been doing it as long. A little bit of slime escaped and just landed on the monitor. That just landed on the monitor. <laughs> oh my gosh. So here's what this one looks like. We've got little avocado in it. There, see. Avocado, a little avocado. <laughs> That's a good combo. Maybe I put a should have put some green in there. It was kind of like a maybe a yellow green, like a greener yellow instead of like this banana yellow. But this looks pretty good. I'm glad y'all are so into the fruit glitters because I think those things are really cool too. Okay, that one's needed pretty. You can really tell when it's kind of like the consistency it's supposed to be when you can kind of like just pull it and it kind of it, it's really taut and you can like hear you can hear like the air bubbles forming and popping a little bit less Then it's more like slime-like consistency. All right. Let's tear off a little bit for, for a mixture. I think I'm going to make the foam one next. What do you guys think? Make the foam one next. So I haven't tried to make the foamy slime. That's a brand new thing. I didn't test it. Didn't test that recipe. Oh. Kind of got contact lens solution everywhere, so I'm just going to clean up a little bit. Okay. 
gets messy, y'all. <laughs> I should have probably put the actual, like, nail art pad that I used when I painted my nails on the desk here to keep things a little less messy. But oh well. Too late now. Trash. All right. So for the foam slime, we use the white glue, right? I think you don't use you don't use clear glue for fluffy slime. I'm just taking a look at the recipe to make sure. Yeah, okay, and it specifically calls for a four ounce bottle. So you do use the four ounce bottle for the fluffy slime. Let's pour this in. Glue. <laughs> So if I do play some longer form games on here, y'all in the chat right now, what are some of um what are your some of your favorite like longer games like uh you know games that you don't just play in one setting, you know like RPGs or like more story games. What are some of y'all's favorites? In addition to Final Fantasy X, I really like most of the Final Fantasies. I love um some puzzle games, right? Like I think the like Mist, that one I played as a kid and I freaking love that game. I could maybe play Mist. That would probably only take a few episodes, so it's not a super long game unless you're bad at puzzles and it takes forever. <laughs> uh another game that I really like, another longer game story game that I really like is uh the Professor Layton games. Those are really fun. Night in the Woods would be a good game to play. It's a single player adventure game. Definitely long and requires a lot of reading. You know, I've played like the first couple hours of that game and I never went back. So maybe I should do like a blind. Maybe I could do Night in the Woods like blind because I'm not super familiar with that, that particular game. I know it's like really critically acclaimed. So I know like people freaking love it, but I'm not super familiar with it. So it would be like, it would be a new story for me. If I did that one, it would be blind. That might be fun. Let's see, and then I need, okay, so it says, okay, so I have to add my food coloring first. So for this one, for the fluffy slime, keep that fluffy consistency. I'm not gonna put any glitter in. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it um, purple, okay? I just wanna get a little bit of the purple here. This purple's pretty dark and pretty strong. So yeah, Night in the Woods, like all I really know about it is the main character, the girl that you play, she drops out of college and moves back to town. And she lives in kind of this, you know, middle of nowhere, used to be a mining town or used to be an oil town or something like that. It used to have one of those kind of industries. And, um, her friend like works at the convenience store and they have a band. So like I think I got as far as like they did band practice and I uh and I really failed at the rhythm game <laughs> for their band practice and um and I think I played a little bit a little bit more past that, but that's like my main memory of playing that game. Yeah, it's a shady place. Yeah, um you get like little hints for that, but I never I didn't play long enough to like really see all the shady shit that was going on in town. So maybe that would be good to do blind, right? Because it would be then it'd be a surprise for me. Okay. So for this one, here's what we do. Oh, we have to add the saline solution first. Okay. So two tablespoons of saline solution. That shaving cream smells really strong, y'all, that I just sprayed. It smells like a bathroom up in here now. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It's just like, wow, strong. I was not expecting that. Okay. This feels weird adding the saline solution first because that's what makes it like harden up. So hopefully this works. I should have tested this recipe out before the stream, but I didn't. 
Okay, one, two of them. That's two spoons. I mix that in. I guess without the baking soda, this won't make it harden up because that reaction won't happen. Oh, that looks really weird. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so weird. It is getting kind of hardened up though. I guess I'm supposed to do this quickly. I don't know. Oh, I should have tested it. Oh, well. If it fails, it fails. Okay. Ink. No, it doesn't look mixed yet. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now it looks mixed. Now I'm supposed to add in a cup of shaving cream. The more you add, the thicker it will be. The less you add, the slimier it will be. Add more is needed. I usually add about one to one and a half cups. Okay. I'm going to get a little utensil. Scrape this in. Well, maybe I should have got a bigger bowl. The foam one. <laughs> Oops. We're going to make a big old mess, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is a... I might need to, like, pause and go get a bigger bowl. <laughs> okay. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go get a bigger bowl. Sorry about that. <laughs> I totally didn't think about that, how these bowls are really designed to just hold like like five ounces, not really any more than that. And I have to put in a whole cup of shaving cream, so obviously I need to hold more for the fluffy slime recipe. Hope I lost my little earbud somewhere on the floor. Okay. I'll find it later. It's down there somewhere. I love earbuds, but I also hate how the little bits pop off all the time. Okay, put you in your bowl. Get in there. I think I might have not added enough food coloring. Like in the other ones, when you add in the additional ingredients, like the it ends up looking darker than at first. But I think this one's about to do the opposite on me. There we go. Go over there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Back to Night in the Woods. Um, but I think I'm pretty sure like that game right now is like on Game Pass, which I have a Game Pass subscription. I can even play it for free, which is nice. Um, I might have it in my Steam because I tend to go through and buy like humble bundles even if they only have like one thing that I want. I have a bunch of games on Steam that I've never played. Does that happen to you guys? Does that happen to you guys? That happens to me. I end up with all these games that I never play because I bought humble bundles that just had them in there. And uh, it just kind of be like that. It's funny. My relationship with video games as I've gotten older. So I don't have nearly as much time to sit down and really play a game. I'm a lot less likely to play uh, newer games. Definitely should have put more food coloring in here. It gets lighter instead of getting darker like all the others. Um, I don't have as much time, right, to play games as I did when I was younger. So I, I tend to, like, not beat them. Right, like when I was when I was a kid, I would play a game. I would play the hell out of that game. You know, I would get every single little bit of good bit I could out of that game before I moved on to the next one. But I also had a lot more time to play them. 
But now, since I don't have as much time, I feel like I'm more likely to get bored of a game and have to move on to the next one before I've beaten the one that I'm on. Oh. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all, look at this. Oh, this one's so cool. Oh, I didn't put nearly enough food coloring in here. I should have put so much more. But the consist... Okay. The consistency of this, y'all. The consistency of this. Let me hold it down here with focus. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This feels so cool. I just made it too pale. It's like too pale. I bounce between games for that reason. Thumper! Oh my gosh, Thumper, I didn't realize you were here. It's the same color as Mochi, so when I first glanced, I thought that was Mochi saying that, but it's not! Thumper, you have to tell me um, what color and glitter you want for the next um, slime that we make, because you haven't you haven't had a chance to pick one yet. Oh, just showed up. Oh, okay, so I need to relink you the images of the different glitters. <clears throat> so I did I put these on here on imager so that y'all could see the glitters and like really close up because I knew that you wouldn't be able to see them super well on the stream itself At least not without a ton of time To look at each one. There we go. I Went through the whole of Excel tag for the witcher on tumblr <laughs> and needed new amusements. Oh my gosh So I have never played the witcher games, but I did watch the TV show Oh my god. I totally understand the Geralt Jaskier ship. I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. I think if we talked about that. You and I talked about that before. I can't stop playing with this one, you guys. I can't stop playing with this one. Oh, I know I should make another one. Move on to the next one, but uh, okay, this is the best slime. The fluffy slime! Okay, and the sounds it makes is really different. Like, I don't know, can you, does it sound different to you guys? It sounds really different than the other slimes, like, in real life. That bowl's kind of done, so we're going to move you off to the side. Pink and grapefruit. Okay, we can do pink and grapefruit. We did a, um, a pink one with gold stars, but we can do, like, the pink, a pink clear one and put the grapefruits in it. I'm so glad the pack of uh, glitters that I got came with those fruit ones. Because those ones are so cool. Okay. The grape grapefruit ones. Is that this number two that's like the like yellow outside, pink inside? Or is it number 12 where it's the yellow outside, purple inside? Tell me which one. Because there's like they like the there's like yellow lemon, pink lemon, purple lemon. Geralt is so much funnier in game. Yeah, I bet. I mean, I'm sure, just like anything else, is an adaptation, right? So Geralt in the game versus Geralt in the in like the show is probably different. And there's books too, right? And I'm sure he's like different in the in the books. I didn't play the first two Witcher games because they weren't hot then, and I knew what the fuck I was about. <gasps> oh, I hear you. Number two. Okay, the pink ones. Okay, so we're gonna do pink and grapefruit. Okay, oh, and Thumper, the other thing, if you didn't see, the slimes, we've got these little containers that we're putting them in, right? But they're just slightly too small. So we've got this, this is like the slimes that we've made so far <laughs> all together. <laughs> so, but this, oh my gosh. So this is the size of the container. Geralt has a pun off with Yen in the game. <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Okay, so this one, it's clearly too big to even fit in one of those. I'm going to have to go get a Ziploc for this one. So I'm just going to put it in one of my spare mixing bowls for now. And we're just going to have to come back to this baby. Get in there. Get in there, little fluffy slime cloud. Used slimes get thrown in the sin bin. <laughs> oh, that's another game I should try. It's really popular, but I never played it, even though it's clearly up my alley. Um, Slime Rancher. Never played Slime Rancher. Okay, so what we have left, so that y'all know, is we have two clear glues left and a regular glue. So we're going to make this regular glue the pink with grapefruit. We've got those two clear glues left, so 
You'll have other, other color glitter combinations that you want. Tell me what you're looking for. Get in there, glue. <clears throat> Get in there. Thumper, did you do, um, <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you fill out the survey for artistic license? I definitely want to get your opinion on it because you've been to a lot of these streams. So I want to hear your take because one of the things that I'm really thinking about right now is planning for 2021, right? Um, trying to think like what, I, what, what are some things I want to do with this stream next year, you know, as my variety do whatever the fuck I want stream. I use it as mental recovery after weeks of mental health in grad school. Oh, I hear you. Never did grad school. Don't know anyone that enjoyed their grad school experience. I think um, I know some people that found it very rewarding, but uh, but yeah, uh, they all say it was basically hell. <laughs> okay, so let's get some going here. Oh, you know, actually, oh, let's do this one as a clear one. Let's set this to the side. We'll use this in a second. I just realized the other pink one we did was the solid. We didn't do clear. Oh, thank you, Lunar. I do need to do that. Oh, that's not fair. I'm having to lean over to make slimes. Girl, the baby's not here. <laughs> uh, if one of them comes in, though, I'll show show it to you. Show you a baby. Grad school was more important and good for me to do than anything else. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what what happens to a lot of people. Um, like a lot of the people that I know that went to grad school, it was like they went and got their MBAs while they were working and things like that, you know, to try to improve their career. Not necessarily because they wanted to go to grad school, but like, hey, if the company will pay for it and it might improve your career prospects, then, you know, why not do it if you have the time? Like, grad school really gave me the environment I needed to learn how to do adult more than anything else. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I definitely learned how to adult um, trial by fire <laughs> in the real world. I uh, don't recommend it. Although, I don't know. Oops. I don't know if I would have gone to grad school or something like that if I would have been any better off. Because what got me in trouble as a young adult so much was I was so poor. I didn't have any money. I didn't really, like, understand fully what exactly that meant. So I just ran up credit cards. So I just ran up credit cards, which was so dumb. It took me forever to kind of get out of that whole mess. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so pink and open up. There we go. Deep fruits. Get in there. Oh, great. Cannot escape. Got them all. But at the time it was yikes. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Sort of like a crutch because I was still in a school environment, got paid while doing it. Yeah, I mean, I think that would have been nice but for me, but I don't know. But you learned, and that's the important part. That is right. I mean, I paid for it for many years after I learned. Um, I don't really think people should be allowed to do that, you know? Like, I don't think I, don't think I should have been allowed to do to myself what I did to myself with all that. But, you know, our system broken. So, of course, I was. So here we go. Here's what the pink looks more orange on camera. But I think it'll look more pink once we add the baking soda and everything. Okay. I was a cheap ass in grad school, so I graduated with a good chunk of change. I was just pathologically convinced I was broke. See, my problem is I was pathologically convinced I wasn't broke. Like, I just didn't understand, you know. It's not... I just didn't get it. I just didn't because I never really... Oh, it does look like sweet and sour sauce. Oh, yummy. Oh, so chimey. Oh, some Chinese food would be so good. Um, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't get it. You know, I didn't really, I mean, I had an allowance and I had to manage money somewhat growing up, but I never had to manage money from the sense of like, if I was going to eat or be able to pay bills or things like that. 
Um, so it was just very different, you know, going out as an adult and, uh, and suddenly having to deal with all of those things. It was just very different and I did not get it. Like I didn't get it. I didn't understand like rent was so expensive. It was so expensive and I just didn't, I didn't get it. But I figured it out. Don't really live like that no more. There was a period in my life. Yeah, there was a period in my life where I didn't, um, or after I, we got out of the credit card debt, right, that I was just like swore off credit cards, which was, which was going like too far in the other direction because then like my credit suffered because I wasn't building up any. So, but then, so I had to learn from that. And then I started using credit cards again, but like using them, you know, like a responsible person instead of like a, a ignorant person who doesn't know. And so now I do pretty good. You know, I do pretty good with that stuff. Mix in there. Stop being chunky. Yeah, growth is good. Yeah. Um, I just feel like I shouldn't have had to go through that. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I should have been taught, like school should have, like school should have taught you, I feel like, how to do that stuff. Because the economy just worked. By the time I was like graduating, right, the economy was starting to work so differently than it did when my parents were coming along. So like, they couldn't really teach me. You know, I was living in a much more expensive place than they did. So they would say things like your grocery bills too high. And I'll be like, that is just not the case. You know, so they didn't get it. And school didn't teach me. So I just didn't know what the hell I was doing. Here we go. You know, since it kind of took on a little bit of an orangish color, it does kind of really look like a grapefruit because a grapefruit isn't like pink pink right it is kind of more of like a yellowy pink so it can look kind of orange this really does look grapefruit glad i switched over to using the clear blue instead money is weird as hell to get yeah and the thing is is like <laughs> when i first graduated college it was like the most money that I had ever made at anything. So I had no, I didn't really understand that I was super poor, even though I was. So that's what led to a lot of the bad decisions. I was super poor, didn't know I was super poor because I just did not have the proper concepts of like what bills were supposed to be like and how things could change month to month. And you know, all of that lovely. But we do good now. After doing the fluffy slime, like this one's cool, but I'm just like, oh, I want to play with the fluffy one. We'll still make the others. Don't worry, guys. But oh my god, that fluffy slime. Scissors, citrus fruits, or sluts. <laughs> Grapefruit can be like candy pink or it can be orangey. Got all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, I'm not, I would say grapefruit is one of those flavors that I feel like is really popular right now. I don't know, Thumper, if you drink, um, like those seltzers, like the, you know, all the beer companies make these seltzers now. But I'm so into them. Oh my God, I love them. And they all have a grapefruit flavor. And they're really, really good. Is that color going to get all over your hands? It might. The yellow stained my fingers pretty damn good when we made, we made a yellow avocado one before you joined. Stained my hands pretty good. We'll see if the, I don't think the pink stains it as much. Um, At least it didn't when I made the other pink one. But we'll see. We'll see if maybe in in the this one it does. I hate grapefruit actually. I think I just think it's pretty. Yeah, I think a lot of people really don't like grapefruit because it can be super sour. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of eating plain grapefruit. Like there's just other fruits that I prefer. But when it's in the seltzer form and it's like that subtle grapefruit flavor. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. Because those seltzers, like the especially the low calorie, low carb, like those ones, they're not very sweet. Um, which is nice because it just kind of tastes like, you know, drinking a like a you know, a LaCroix or something. I'm racking up spell reagents for future streams. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that you're doing that. Um, because I am going to I am gonna do something next year with the spell reagents that I think is going to be really fun. Seltzer is angry water. Yeah, um, 
I need I I I have to uh only I only drink a little bit of it. If I drink too much of it, I start to get like a little overwhelmed with the carbonation, but I love it sometimes. Like I love um the like the key lime LaCroix and the tangerine LaCroix. Mm, so good. Here we go. Let's see. It came out kind of orange, but you can see the grapefruits in it. I love this. Yeah, um, so here's what I have planned. So some someday, someday in the future, it's probably going to be a little bit, little ways away. I'm not sure exactly when this is going to happen, but at some point in 2021, I'm going to have gotten, I'm uh, going to have finished the all award run of Viva Pinata, right? And I'm going to have to move on to some other game. So one of the things that you can do with the spell reagents is, um, is set it up so that like, you have to spend a lot of them and it's like a community it's like a community uh goal thing right so you can make them cost like you know a hundred thousand spell reagents which no one has that many by themselves so then lots of people have to do it so what i want to do is like a voting thing right like a voting thing between three different games here's the games that i'm thinking of um don't know when this is going to happen and it might change before we get to them but this is what i'm kind of thinking so if people want Interstage Window to kind of stay how it is, like a really chill farm game that we just kind of talk over, um, then Stardew Valley, like that's easy mode, right? Then I've got, and I'll play like the first two years of Stardew Valley, right? Um, and then I've got Long Mode, because uh, another game that I think would be good for Interstage Window because we can talk over it easily is The Sims. I'm thinking of having The Sims 2 Legacy Challenge on there. Um, I've never actually finished one, so I know it will take freaking forever. <laughs> so that might be fun. And then the other choice is going to be Chaos Mode, which will be um, doing a Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Because the key to winning a Nuzlocke is doing lots of grinding so we can talk over it. But the talking might be interrupted with me crying over losing a Pokemon. Because if you know about Nuzlocke runs, you know what that means. <laughs> is that when the Pokemon faints, it dies, and I have to stop using it. So uh, that'll be chaos mode. And I'll, I'll have you all do, like, community the community challenge type of thing with the spell reagents where you can um, vote on which one. So never pay attention to the game during their stage window. Yeah, I don't think most people do. I don't think most people do. It's really there to, like, bring in people and um, and kind of be just a nice thing to look at. It's not really intended to be something that you pay attention to. So I would never play like something that actually required you to pay attention to the to the game and know what's going on in the game for it to make any sense. There we go. Okay, there's this one. Stretchy. I brought chicken I bought chicken dinner because a coworker asked if my cat's name, Chickadee, was actually her name. Or if it was short for that? What? <laughs> like she thought D was short for Deborah, so that meant that your cat's name was Chicken Deborah. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious, Thumper. I don't understand. I don't understand your coworker, but she sounds really funny. <laughs> yeah, that is too funny. I can't believe it. Chicken Deborah. So of course we had to name the the cat in the in the the cat pinata, Chicken Deborah. <sighs> Chickadee's a good cat name. Naming cats after birds that should be a thing that we do more often. I like that. And that Chickadee sounds cute. Honestly, people do name their cats like that sometimes. Yeah, I mean I guess they do. I guess they do. <laughs> Oh gosh. Like I don't know if y'all remember Grumpy Cat back when Grumpy Cat was uh was popular. The cat's name was um the cat's real name was uh was pretty offensive. I don't know if y'all remember that. But it was the same thing. Like it's hard short for and they would say tartar sauce, but that wasn't the truth. Like this is Fork, my terrible son that eats rubber pants. This is Ham Bastard the Third, my horrid beast that chews toes at night. Yeah, I mean, some people definitely do name their cats like that. Uh, our cats are, I feel like, have pretty normal cat names. Like, we have um, 
queen, um, because she is. And then we have Ash, who is just she's gray colored, so her name is Ash. And it's funny because then it's really easy to call her ass. She's because she's kind of like that too. I do have a pic of oh, I'm gonna say his name wrong. It's Shoris, right? With Grumpy Cat because they have the same face. Oh, Shoris. I'm gonna miss not having him in this role play. It's gonna be strange. It's gonna be strange not to have Shoris. All the foam slime is overrunning the cup. <laughs> I might have to actually go get a Ziploc and put it in. Don't go away, foam. Okay, we have two more slimes we can make. We've got the regular glue and another clear glue. So what colors do we want? What colors do we want? Let's see, what have we made? We made a green, we made two pinks, we made a yellow, we made a purple. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, why don't we make, why don't we make a blue one? Remember, if we make a blue one, what glitter should I put in it? He could show up if I have some time. Yeah, I mean, don't stretch yourself just for just for my desires, right? But uh, but it is going to be strange not having not having him. <laughs> uh, I'm just so used to him at this point, you know. He's a staple. Yeah, sorry. It, the stream is variable based on um. Stream is variable, kind of based on what my internet connection is looking like. So it'll like kind of speed up and slow down. Do you want to try recoloring the floofy one? You kind of can't. So that's something you can't do. Um, once you make the slime, like you have to add the color first or it doesn't really work. So we're going to make this one blue. What glitter should we put in the blue one? What glitter should we put in the blue one? Gold flakies. Okay, we can do blue and gold. We can definitely do some blue and gold. I love this blue. It looks so good. Blue and gold is classy. Yeah, it is classy. It's like kind of like school colors, right? That's what it makes me think of. It makes me think of like school colors. If your school actually had like good colors, and not every school gets blessed with good colors, but um, blue and gold is definitely a, a good school color combination. Okay, let me find my gold flakies. Where are you? Those are the butterflies. Here we go. Here's our gold flakies. <sighs> also, I'm a University of Michigan fan. <laughs> well, there you go. Get in there, gold flakies. Or like Louis. What is that, Louis the 14th? Or like a wizard, yes. My, uh, my school colors growing up for both my high school and my college was uh, maroon and gold. So I was pretty, pretty blessed with decent looking school colors, not super ugly. Jane, you're finally here. Oh my gosh, okay. Jane, I've missed you. I know you wanted to see the slime stream and I feel like You've missed most of it, so I'm really sad. But there's still one more slime we're gonna make, so you tell me what glitter. And um, oh, you're at work. Oh, that sucks. I'm so sorry. So tell me what um, what glitter and what color you want for the Jane slime. I'm linking you the pictures of the glitter right now. There you go. When the stream catches up, you'll know what that is. So we made we made so far. A pink grapefruit one. We made a pink with gold gold stars. We made a green with cherries, and we made a yellow with avocados. Went from blue and white in middle school, and white and red in high school, and forest green in college. Those aren't too bad. Forest greens, forest greens, pretty respectable color. I feel like that would look good. Work sucks. Yeah, Jane slime. We have to make a Jane slime. Okay. 
our baking soda. Mix that in. And we got to mix in the contacts. Jane, after we make this slime, I'll show you the fluffy slime. You've got to see this thing. It is the best thing ever. Um, I don't know if your kids are appropriate age to be interested in making slime, but I strongly recommend uh, doing this craft with your kids if uh, if your students are of that, you know, of that age where they would think this is cool and not lame. I don't know your life, so they might think it's lame and kitty and not want to do it. But I think this is really cool and fun. A very fun thing to do would be character slimes. Oh my god. Yeah, well now that y'all all have the recipe, um, you can all make your, your character slimes. Uh, I think that would be really, really, a really fun activity to put in the headcanons channel, right? Like I would be like, oh, here's the Aaron slime. And here's the Sam slime. Dane, I, don't, I know you don't know who those two characters are because I'm bringing two characters that you've not met before to the next role play. There we go, that's mixed in. Okay. I guarantee you guys, after this stream, I'm gonna come out there and my husband's gonna be like, so what are you gonna do with all those slimes that you just made? <laughs> that's what he's gonna say. I promise you guys. This is so satisfying to watch mix. It's, it is even more satisfying to do it, Jane. I highly recommend this craft. It's been super fun. Like the time just kind of flies by, right? Like I'm looking at the clock, hoping I don't run over and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's already eight o'clock. I can't believe it. I've actually been making slime like almost two hours. It doesn't feel like it. It's like a character stem board. Yeah. Okay. Dax would be bright yellow with gold flakes because he's an ostate. How do you say that word? Ostentatious. There we go. Ostentatious bitch. Um, I'm so excited to meet Jack. Like you have no idea, Thumper. I'm really excited. Uh, Marie's like cotton candy pink with little planets and silver sparklies. Oh, I love that. You so sound so sweet. Borderlands, that's another, he's from Borderlands, right? That's another one of those games I've never played, but I have watched my husband play all of them. So I'm like vaguely familiar with like what goes on in them. They're so funny. They're so funny and so good. <clears throat> Here's the gross part. So this is the only part that I'm not a huge fan of. Like once it gets hard to, hard to mix, you have to start doing it with your hands, right, Jane? And it's really sticky and really gross. Uh, and it's really wet. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds really nasty, uh, but you have to do it, right? Because that's how you need it, need in the contact solution so that it gets like nice and slime consistency. Yeah, right now it just feels like weirdly kind of hard glue still into it. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you are. <laughs> Borderlands 2, they make edible slimes. Yeah, I don't think um, what I'm making right now is, I don't think it's, I think it's non-toxic, but it's not edible. You know, like, I mean, I don't think any of the ingredients are toxic, but this is not edible slime. But there is edible slimes that you can make. There's also, like, um, edible Play-Doh that you can make with, like, flour and a few other ingredients. We used to make that. Edible slimes scare me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that I would be too interested in eating slime. <laughs> Sounds a little bit too much for me. Okay, that's starting to feel a little bit less awful and more fun. So there's like that gross step there. Uh, if you're not into like super wet feeling. We made edible slime for the kids at daycare in case they ate it. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. If you have really little kids that are still in that kind of like Play-Doh eating, paste eating phase, you probably would want to make the edible version. So this one, I think I may put in just like a touch too much contact solution. It got really, it got really hard, like way harder than the other ones, or I don't know. But okay. See the gold flakies all up in it. This looks, this one looks really good. Those flakies get really small. So like it looks, 
the glitter looks way more dispersed in this one than the others. So I really like that. Okay. So glad I raced home for this. I'm so glad you did too, Jane. You know, when you weren't here at first, I was like, uh, we got to get Jane in here. I'm sure you saw that I added you in the, um, in the discord. Cause I was like, she's going to miss it. She's going to miss it. Yeah. I put a little too much contact lens solution in this. Okay. We're going to take a chunk out for our bowl of, of all loop. <laughs> no problem. I didn't realize you were at work. Or I probably wouldn't have bothered you, um, to be honest. Okay, Jane, did you decide what color and glitter you want for the Jane slime? While you're posting that, I'm gonna... Here's the fluffy slime. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, you were at work when you shouldn't have been. That's even worse. So this is the fluffy slime. This is what it looks like. Is it in the other camera? And it just, the sounds, they're like so soft. I just, it's, it smells good because it's got shaving cream in it. It's just so, I just love this. The only problem is most of the other ones most of the other ones, uh, the it gets the coloring, food coloring that you put in there gets a little darker after you mix the other ingredients in. But this one got lighter, so I, I'm trying to make it purple, but I didn't put in enough food coloring. So it doesn't, the purple barely shows up on the camera. Like you can see it ever so slightly. <laughs> um, but it's not that purple even in real life. Okay, and I have to get a Ziploc bag for this one. Super light green with white flakes. No, that's not been done. Um, I will do my best to make it a light. Let's wipe this out a little bit more. Yeah, I should. Cass needs to make slime with those. Yes! Um, Landon, I'm pretty sure, is busy this evening, but uh, but Landon, hopefully you watch the VOD this far through and see this comment. Green with white flakes. Okay, so I've got a whole bunch of different white ones, Jane. So we've got white stars, we've got white hearts, white flowers, white snowflakes, dots. Oh, we've got five and four point stars. We've got white moons, hearts, um... A whole bunch of, oh, white butterflies. What kind of, what white do you want? Oh, we have two kinds of flowers. We have little bubbly flowers or Sakura looking flowers. Oh, we've got white Mickey Mouse heads. That's interesting. Dots all the way and moons. Okay, dots and moons. Okay, let me just look, make sure. Okay, yeah, we can do that. We can do dots and moons. Okay, for our glue. I'll try to make the green lighter than the last green. I'll try to just use a tiny, tiny bit of green. Bloop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, this is the Jane slime. And we'll put a little bit of this one in the, in the everything one too. Here's how our everything one is looking. I accidentally covered up the yellow one. Here's how our everything's looking. Really excited for the kindergarten teacher class because Jack's wife, a headcanon, is having been a really feral kindergarten teacher to contrast with his psychopathic tendencies, and therefore he's going to be weird about it. Oh, does Landon know this yet? Have you plotted this with her? Because um, I love that. <laughs> I think that sounds so cool. Y'all are making me feel like, like whatever third character I make, I need to somehow, I need to like make, somehow make Viv interact with kids or do something with kids or something like that. Because everybody's like making kids in this verse. So I feel like I have, I need to, I need to interact with this part of the story. So. Okay. The lightest, we're going to just get a little bit of green. A little bit. About 
Okay, hopefully this doesn't turn out too dark. Actually. over here. Stuck my hand in it. Get off. <laughs> my bad. Go. Okay. Strong emphasis on next generation. That's true. I guess that's why everyone's making kids, because that is pretty much what I wrote. My browser did a heck up. Uh-oh. Is the stream still going? Did this, did, we didn't lose the stream, did we? It doesn't say I'm dropping any frames or anything. Okay. So we're good. Okay. Got scared. Okay. Open. Stubborn. I'm just gonna open it with my teeth. Oh well. There we go. Okay, dots and moons. Boom. So much. That's just like Jane slime, always difficult. Jane, you are not difficult. What are you talking about? You're like so chill. You're one of my chillest friends, I feel like. <laughs> You're like always up for whatever. And everything's just neato. <laughs> yeah, here we go. You wanted two glitters, now you have the glitteriest slime. Oh my gosh, look at that. Okay. It got a little bit more green than I wanted. So, uh, so sorry about that, but uh, the green is a very potent color, so we did our best. It's going to be a crunchy slime. Yep. <laughs> It'll be extra fun. It'll be extra fun to play with. Our baking soda in there. Mix that in. Yeah, so you can see, like... And it gets darker, not what happened with the uh, fluffy slime. Adding in that baking soda brings out the color more, like makes it more saturated. Can't be soggy without sparkle. <laughs> you know, this is uh, the, the soggiest, like especially when you're kneading it and it's not like fully formed yet. I mean, soggy is soggy is how I would describe it. So, <laughs> all right, let's not go so crazy on the contact lens solution. Okay, I'm going to have to get more glue, I think, to make more slime because no one in this house wears contacts. So I bought contact lens solution. And the only purpose we will ever have for it in this household, making slime. Oh, while we're mixing this also, Jane, if you could, I would love to have your opinion on, um, let me go grab the link. I would love to have your opinion on this stream because I'm doing a lot of 2021 planning. You could also fill out the survey. I would very, very much appreciate it. You don't have to do it right this second if you're watching the slime, but after we're done mixing this, if you could, please. Just thinking about all the things for 2021 that I want to do, and I did a survey for this stream in particular because it's my newest one, right? It's the most uncertain as far as, like, you know, how it's going, what I think about it, you know, it's gotten the least feedback. Uh, because it's the newest thing, you know. That's why I built a survey, because I really want to know some of you guys' thoughts, because that'll help me plan what I want to do for 2021 better. Okay. Gosh, look at that one, y'all. <gasps> look at it. It looks a bit more yellow on the camera than it does in real life. Um, in real life, it looks a little bit more on the green side. 
It's in the wet part. Nah. <gasps> the gross part. Okay, we'll be through this soon, just like all the others. And the truth is, even though this has twice as much glitter as the others, I still don't feel it. I still don't feel it in, like, it doesn't feel, like, crunchy or anything. It still feels just like, you know, all the other slime. Let's clean up our mess. I saw somebody, like, make slime as, like, one of those cleaning life hack things and, like, use it to clean. And I'm like, why would, why would you ruin your slime like that with, like, picking up dust with it? But you definitely could. Like, it picks up everything. So, you know, I guess when you're done playing with it, you can use it to clean out your keyboard or something like that. You know, those annoying areas that are hard to dust. Starting to form, so I'm getting it, getting it off of my fingers. Why would you ruin your slime like that? <laughs> Why would you? Truly, it's a mystery. <laughs> okay. Well, I only came away with a few food coloring stains on my fingers. Not too bad. I was expecting more. So that'll be a fun reminder in the next couple of days <laughs> that we made slime together. Let's pick it up out the bowl. <laughs> the noises, the slime noises, y'all. It does kind of look like flubber, right? But if I threw it against the wall, it wouldn't bounce. It would just stick to the wall. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. Because then I would have green spots all over my walls. I'm surprised how fast it comes together. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Like, seriously, it's, it's a very quick craft. That's why I brought so many and plan to make so many. Because it really doesn't take, like, any time at all. And then you just get a ton of time to play with it. Okay, so we're out of our little containers, right? We don't have any more, but I only have five. So let's get a let's get a chunk of this baby for the everyone pool, and this will go back just in the bowl to put it in a zip bag. Get off my fingers! There we go. Okay. So here's all the slimes together. I don't know if this is gonna be like baking, how like when you bake and you make something with like multiple colors, they don't run together, or if this is all gonna just run together, but here we go. Here's our here's our rainbow everyone slime. Can y'all see like how rainbowy it is? Like blue, pink, green, yellow. It is all kind of running together. Thanks for Jane slime, so honored. Well, Jane, I'm so glad you were able to make it. Like I really thought that I was going to get a message from you like later tonight, sad that you missed it and, you know, asking me when the VOD was going to be up because <laughs> I knew you wanted to see this. There we go. Here's our everyone's everyone slime. So we've got a slime in here from Thumper, a slime from Mochi, a slime from Kai, a slime from Jane. So this is our, our slime stream slime. It's really rainbowy. Really rainbowy. So here we go. There, that's probably the truest to real life color when I put it right there. I told my boss I'm going home to make slime. <laughs> ah, Jane, that's awesome. It is. Y'all made a beautiful slime. Look at that. You are! Your pink, oh, your pink one is in there. Sorry, Lunar, I forgot to say your name. Your pink one is in there. You are in the... You are in the rainbow of friendship. See, there's a lunar gold star right there. All right. This was awesome. This was really awesome. I have a big mess to clean up now. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to, let me just hold my foam one. I want to play with this one just a little bit more.
Like, just, like, look at this thing. Like, this is awesome. This is the most awesome. I'm going to have to make some more foam ones. I've got plenty of stuff to do it. I just need to get more bottles of glue. But I have plenty of everything else. Do y'all hear that? Just the sound it makes. It's so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So that's, uh, that's slime. We're going to switch over and do a little, um, little bit of the Pokemon meme. If y'all did not answer the survey yet, please, please do that. Um, I really, really want to hear y'all's opinions so that we can make the, make 2021 artistic license stream really cool. Like I want to do some cool stuff. I want to do some new stuff, you know, and I've got some ideas, right? But I'm just really curious about what you guys' interests are so we can see kind of where those ideas align. All right. So let me flip the microphone back around. Sorry if I bump it in the process. I'm trying not to. So sorry if y'all got some really annoying um, sounds right then. <gasps> okay. All right. Bye, slime. Let's go to Photoshop. All right. So here's where we are in the Pokemon me. Let's bring our website over here. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> the first one we're going to look at is fire for Gen 4. Now, the fire types for me, y'all, the fire types for me, it's all about the fire starters. I absolutely love every single fire starter that, uh, that Pokemon has ever had, which means out of the choices here, Chimchar is what we're going to go with. So if we go back over here, down to fire, here we go. Chimchar. Very cute. Fire butt monkey. Let's take a look at his entry. All right, here's what he looks like right there. Its agility scales sheer cliffs to live atop craggy mountains. Its fire is put out when it sleeps. So I guess unlike the Charizard um, where the fire is like its life force, the fire is put out when it's, when it's asleep. It's, um, it's only on when it's awake for our, uh, for our Chimchar. Okay. We're going to play with the slime while I do the Pokemon because I can't handle it. It just feels so cool. Okay. Its fiery rear end is fueled by gas made in its belly. Even rain can't extinguish the fire. Magic fire. Of course, because it's Pokemon. Okay, next one. We're going to look at, um, we're going to stay in, the, in this Gen 4, but we're going to go look at Psychic. All right, our choices here are Chingling. We've got the Bronzor line. We've got Mime Jr. And then Gallade. So, you know, I love the cute ones. I love the cute ones. So out of these, we're going with Chingling. Little Bell. The little Bell Pokemon. It emits cries by agitating an orb on the back of its throat. It moves with flouncing hops. So basically, it rings like a bell. Exactly, like a bell. Each time it hops, it makes a ringing sound. It deafens foes by emitting high-frequency cries. So he is our psychic type for that generation. Okay. Next, we're going to go to... Where's Vicoon? There it is. We're going to go over to Generation 2. Oops, excuse me. And we're going to look at Ice Types. So none of these really super excite me. We've got Sneasel, which I think is probably like the popular choice. Um, which I like Sneasel, but uh, not too into Delibird or, or Smoochum. So we're going to go with Swinub. I think Swinub is the cutest. So Swinub and Sneasel are kind of the good ones from here, I think. They're, they're the ones that I prefer. But Swinub is who I'm going to put. Uh, thank you so much, Lunar. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, you guys, when you answer that, you're helping me make some decisions about what I want to do for 2020. That's super helpful. So here's Swinub. He's, a little, he's a, little sleepy, a little sleepy snow pig. 
It rubs its snout on the ground to find and dig up food. It sometimes discovers hot springs. So I, I guess instead of discovering truffles like pigs in real life, it discovers hot springs. If it smells something enticing, it dashes headlong off to find the source of the aroma. Ah, me. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Next, we're going to go over to Gen 1. Fairy types. So fairy type didn't exist, of course, in Gen 1, but a lot of the Gen 1 Pokemon retroactively got fairy types. So basically Clefairy line, Jigglypuff line, and Mr. Mime line got retroactive fairy types. As y'all know, I'm not into Mr. Mime. We've talked about it a couple of times now. And between Clefairy and Jigglypuff, I have to say Jigglypuff is the preference. So that's the one that I use for my favorite Gen 1 fairy type. There he is. The little pink ball. Clefairy. So I guess, Lunar, you're more of a Clefairy person than a Jigglypuff person. I don't know. Jigglypuff's so funny to me. I love like the drawing on faces thing um, when it sings and everyone falls asleep. Uh, I think it's adorable. It has so much personality. Okay. When its huge eyes light up, it sings a mysteriously soothing melody that lulls its enemies to sleep. It uses alluring eyes to enrapture its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foes to sleep. So basically it repeats the same thing in that one. Okay. I love Jigglypuff. I think Jigglypuff is so cool, not only in the games, but in the anime. It's just, it's an all around awesome Pokemon. Okay. And lastly, what we're going to do for the next one, instead of Vicoon, I'm going to show you guys what my favorite Gen 1 Legendary is. So I'm going to the Legendary Pokemon page of, um, of Bulbapedia so you guys can see the legendaries for Gen 1 were the three birds. So we've got Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. And then we've got Mewtwo and Mew. So of those, my favorite legendary Pokemon for the first generation is... Icebird Articuno. I love Articuno. You know, water, water and ice stuff. I love that type. And I think Articuno is so cool. So let's go take a look at his. All right, a legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doomed people who are lost in icy mountains. It'll come save you from, from the mountains when you get trapped in the ice. A legendary bird Pokemon. It freezes water that is contained. Yeah, it freezes the water that is contained in winter air and makes it snow. Aw, Mew. Yeah, Jane, Mew seems like a very, a very Jane Pokemon, doesn't it? I feel like you would really like that one. <laughs> uh, the first Pokemon, right? The first Pokemon of all of them. Okay, so that's where we are on the Pokemon meme. We're making more progress. We're filling it out, right? We're filling it out. So at the end of at the end of 2020, this is all my favorite Pokemon so far. We're definitely going to talk about some more. We're going to finish this meme. Um, but uh, but yeah, this is this is how the chart looks at the moment. Okay, I can't stop playing with this. I can't stop. All right. Thank you everyone for coming to the slime stream. I really, really appreciate it. This was super fun. Um, if y'all liked this, I might do some more arts and crafts streams in the future. Um, I'm thinking, oh, I've got slime on my face. Off. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, some other arts and crafts that I find, um, cause this was really, really fun. It was nice to kind of get my hands into doing something with you guys. Um, so yeah uh let's see all the things where you can find me okay you can find me here on twitch.tv slash it's karen terry on thursdays where we do artistic license which is my variety stream where we do whatever the hell i feel like doing uh we also have interstage window on saturdays which is my conversation stream where we talk um about more in depth about uh various role play writing uh internet uh type of topics and then of course on youtube i have spare window which is every Wednesday at 2 p.m. That's my scripted role play help show. It's more like a discrete topics, you know, shorter form, stuff like that. You can also uh, find me modeling clay. Ooh, that's an idea, Thumper. That's an idea. Uh, you can also find me um, on Twitter, which is at It's Karen Terry. Uh, it's mostly advertising, but sometimes I post hot takes. So if that interests you, check out my Twitter. And I have a TikTok now, which is also at It's Karen Terry. Uh, that is again advertising, but I am definitely posting some actual TikToks too. 
uh go check out my no nuance november one it's the it's pretty spicy uh i'm pretty proud of it so go take a look at that one um and yeah that's it that's all that's all for today thank you guys so much for watching and um and i will see you all on saturday for among us be there to play among us with us it's gonna be awesome we're gonna talk about favorite holiday traditions okay <laughs>